Let us put this to rest. CERN is just going to be restarting. After three years of being completely down. This is just a random one. We've been monitoring this for years. Developing, getting crunchier and crunchier. <laughs> this is not something CERN has just begun doing. Jesse, you know what? This video here alone wrecks your entire fucking last video. Wrecks it. Dude, it's not CERN. CERN wasn't even operating then. Was it? Was it, Jesse? Damn. So how it is when you work with stupidity and lies. Look at all that documented fucking stuff right there, time stamped. CERN wasn't working then, was it? November 2020, was CERN working that day when the IMF line was plastered up against us and crunchy? Not nearly as crunchy as it is today because those big-ass planets hadn't gotten close to us yet. Do you see that? Same thing you're blaming on CERN. Well before CERN was repaired. Here is one year later. 2021, Jesse. See the crunch? It's getting worse, isn't it? Progressively, over the years, it's gotten worse. It isn't something CERN just started doing yesterday. See all this documented proof that you have no idea what the hell you're talking about? A lot of it, bud. Hang on. We ain't done. See the bit shoot? See the name? Yeah, I'm pretty mad at you for tossing out lies. There's an awful lot of documentation over here that's not on YouTube. See that? Your moon's doing that every night. It's doing a cartwheel every night. You haven't said anything about it. NASA says that's not normal. Why in the hell ain't you talking about that, Jesse? CERN doing that? Huh? Did it tilt us on our axis, Jesse, in 2010? October of 2010? Did you know Bible Canon says that when the sister system nears Earth, the axis shifts, making the sky roll, thus beginning tribulations on Earth. And it also says that it lasts 10 years and 5 months. We're 12 years into it. You miss tribulations. You've been lying to people through that whole time, dude. This, that's Horace's box. This, that's fucking raw. That, that's the red, angry brother, Horace. Do you get it? It's the same message across the globe, written in stone, man. It's simple physics. Huh? Huh? You see all this? This is documented shit. This is documented shit the two born a while. Oh, it's all visible and published. It's been documented for a while, time stamped, a lot longer than CERN has been broken. Everything on the ecliptic, this is Jupiter and its moons, is doing a cartwheel every day now. It shouldn't. The moon's doing this from your front porch as if you were going from New York to Sydney every night. It shouldn't. You haven't mentioned that. None of that. The only reason that happened is because this ball that we live on, yeah, that's awful high UV up there in California and Texas all over the world, which is on fire. We tilted in 2010 and began the sky rolling. And I tried to start warning you in 2011, 2012, and then watched you fucking talking about the CMEs from behind and stopped and then started talking about fucking ice and got fucking... Started talking nonsense then about CERN, starting to blame everything on CERN and man-made weather modification. It doesn't have anything to do with why the Congo's on fire and why the freaking Amazon's burning and why New Jersey's having record fires. The reason they had to revamp this whole damn scale and why we're having extreme UV all over the globe and fires everywhere is because we live in a three-sun system, period. That was written on every stone in warning, not worship. These damn things. <laughs> See this CME you never covered, dude? Here, let's enlarge that. Do you notice the dingly cobra and conical hat with the ball on top? Kind of like this, guys. That was carved in every stone. 
It wouldn't roll fast enough. In warning, Jess, how'd you miss this? I've been showing it to you. You, you. you think that's CERN? Do you? Do you think that's CERN? It's an IMF line coming out from the back of the planet. That's a classic CME. Well, I am. Right there, bro. In blue, IMF. It ain't ours. Completely opposing fucking polarity of our sun over here. You know, that's your night side. Now you can, these, these things have come in so close that you can see them at night on your northern horizon. It isn't guesswork, bud. And it's definitely not CERN. <clears throat> Funny. <laughs> oh, man. You know, Jesse, if I, if I was, you, you do realize a lot of my viewers watch you and, uh, I, I would make corrections pretty quickly if I was you because CERN just started. Just. And we've been watching this develop progressively for some time now. This is something you just caught on to, right? Right? You haven't been watching this? Or you've been blaming CERN too long. I don't know what the hell. How, how in the hell you actually accomplished CERN it, it doing anything. You know, we made quite a few videos when the Coriolis effect reversed there because of the blue kachina that tilted us. See, this started out as a polar vortex. Well, the polar vortex overtook the planet and made it spin like this because it tilted us. Do you see how much pressure is on this planet over here? Completely overrun the first two layers of atmosphere with compression. That's why your human frequency is spiking. Your human frequency is determined in the space, the ionosphere, to the surface. Well, it's been compressed to three levels until you get to your freaking jet streams, man. What's going on, Jess? Hmm? That's compression, dude. That's not CERN. That's outside compression. Driving that layer of atmosphere down to your surface. And that's why we're seeing the exact same patterns here on the surface. Because it's being pressed down into it. There's Cherenkov radiation from three suns being trapped in here in these magnetic fields as if we were in a nuclear reactor causing this water to go blue. We've covered this. This isn't guesswork, and I'm just calling it out because you're producing insanity. And I, I, it's not okay, dude. You have so many followers listening to you, and a lot of them are coming running to me being like, did you hear this? Yeah, I heard it. I actually sat through your last video, and I listened to it, and it was insane, dude. 